What's that? Who's there? I think I saw someone. Guess it was nothing. Take your hands off, man! Over here! You're done now!
Please tell me you found it. Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Can't you see I'm tracking game here? Okay, sure. Good luck. Shh. Yep, she's laying a good trail. These droppings are fresh. Hmm. I thought I saw you over there. 
Business at mine. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you want to speak to the foreman? He's down in the pit.
Hey, move it! Arthur London there. Clear? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead? What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a-knocking. <laughs> You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Out of the damn way! Easy there. Oh. Pardon me. Good morning, Good morning, Mister. Hey, friend. You're on your way now. Howdy. This here's private property. Go and make yourself whoa, scarce. Whoa, whoa! You come close This is London, Derry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh, I just wanted to say the debt's canceled. To uh, here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Why? Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am.
That's cool, girl. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just then. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What... what is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you. Your time wasting, maggot. Get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. Waste my time, you depress me, and you're a parasite, sending me after losers like that. Yeah, I should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? Be for partners, yeah. business partners. Go get a new partner. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was, I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> you're a creep. Creep in a parasite, ain't it, time waster? Now, take that. Take that! And don't annoy me. I'm... Leaving. Think you're so clever, don't you? Now don't get yourself all worked up. But I see exactly what you're doing. What's wrong with you? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Keep this up. You'll see. <laughs> Reverend? I think you did the right thing. Uncle. Hell of time, Arthur. How are you doing? Everything's falling apart. What are we gonna do, Arthur? She would have said anything. Who knows what she did or didn't do?
Okay, girl. Look a little lost. Me and my brothers might be able to help you. Got a smart yeah. answer. Ah! You okay? Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, Butch's crick. Butch's crick. Uh, where? Uh, Butch's crick. Is that where you're from? Butch's crick. You want me to take you back, or? There ain't uh, me. Uh, come on, let me get you home. Butcher's Crick. You? Come on, girl. Soft in the head or something? Oh, butcher, crick. Ah, Lemuel! <laughs> you found Lemuel! Oh, come, come, come here! Yeah, he was in some distress. Yeah, 
Uh, he seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nurse man, such a good man. Come here, Lemuel. Come on, get up here. Up here. Uh, Since the uh, troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is. Well, thank you, sir. I thank, thank you for lim- Please, please, sir. Them you are not well, sir. You got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir, but with love, rich. We thank you. Okay.
Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me, and I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? <laughs> hey. All right, good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Let's go, quiet. Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Get to it. Yeah. So, 
They got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. this thing? A gun case. itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life!
How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Mr. Morgan, you don't look very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, sir. Uh, I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Arthur Morgan. Hey, Karen. Why don't you lay off the bottle for a bit? Why don't you lay off me? I'm only concerned. Whatever you say. You okay, Mary Beth? Are you okay, Arthur? What happened with Strauss? There's nothing else for him left here. Maybe not for the rest of us, neither. Stay alert there, Javier. Hey, Arthur. Hi, Arthur. 
Don't you give me that look. So just like that, Strauss is gone? For his own good. This is done, Abigail. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Uh-huh. Hey, big man. Worried. Really worried. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess... Folks is gonna make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. A good man. It's all over. All over. It's... I don't want to die. Not like this, not... I don't want that. I don't... You... It's all so sad, Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... I don't know. I don't know. I know things seem bad. We're gonna die here. Don't give up just yet. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Uh-huh. Place, John. Hello. John. Hi, Mama. Hello. Not exactly a welcome home party. Well, you warned me. I'll fill you in some more later. You're almost okay. on top of me, Uncle. Guess I'll see you later then. Take care. <laughs> 